It is Friday morning at 9 o'clock, and Kendall is going to work right now. Ivy doesn't have to go for, I think, about two hours. Oh, no, she doesn't have to go to work for two days, but McKinley does. So we're just going to ride out our day with the kids and everything, and then we are going to be moving. So we will be getting that ready, but what we're going to do is make sure that we have Kato's gravestone. Everything else is out of the house right now, and I think that while they are gone, that Ivy is going to move everybody because she is is now going to be the heir. I think he should work hard today. And when does McKinley go to work? She goes to work in about an hour. So we are going to play with the kids for a little bit and we're just going to wait for her to go to work. When they get done moving, they'll know where they're going. But I think Ivy's going to be doing it for most part today. How about you get the baby up? You can do a little bit of tummy time together and you guys should be crawling by now. And oh, look at Turtle really wants to talk to the baby. Let's have her smile at Turtle and then let's sleep next to turtle oh seth is not crawling yet we have to go ahead and take care of that we'll do a little bit more tummy time come on baby it's time to do some tummy time we gotta get you crawling you can do it by yourself you're beginning to be so big oh almost she's got the creep milestone maybe you can get the babies to do some crawling today mckinley's off to work already and i think we're going to be making our debut here we can pick you up seth and comfort you oh are you gonna take a nap next to turtle oh how sweet let's let them nap together they are so fond of turtle and we can feed you while we're holding you oh no practice crawling I think we should be practicing crawling. Blame the placement. It's your fault, McKinley. Let's see what we have going on here. She influenced points gained as medium, so that's great. But look at this. Isn't that so sweet? They are actually taking a nap together. All three of them are going to be taking a nap together. Oh, how sweet is this? I can't believe it. It is so adorable. Ivy, while the kids are taking a nap, would you like to get ready to move here? We are going to go to the front of the house. We don't have to worry about Turtle. We're just going to get everybody to teleport here. We have to send you home. Okay. Turtle will be all right. We have the kids here. And let's get ready. We'll bulldoze a lot. We'll get a good majority of our money back. There we go. We'll bulldoze the terrain as if nobody's been here and we are going to move the whole entire household and the kids are wondering what's going on they're like where's our house looming layout oh no alongside profit warnings and dire predictions of financial calamity kendall finds that his job is at serious risk of layoffs might be that working hard helps kendall dodge the layoff bullet but who knows Oh no, you poor thing. I hope you don't. I mean, you are doing a pretty good job. That is really horrible. Here's our house. It's kind of small. It's just perfect for the twins. They have their place. We have a living room in the kitchen, of course. And then we have a little office. This is the bedroom for Ivy and Kendall. We will be putting one of the twins in here. But this, this right here is McKinley's little in-law suite. Isn't it nice? And all she has to do is go in the house for food and stuff like that and visit the kids and the family but she is going to be assigned the bed that way she knows that she is going to be in this room and let's see we also have a tree house for the kids plenty of garden space and then we have the garden for our vegetables and we also have to get ourselves a llama oh do you think we should get a cow cow or a llama cow or a llama well we had our fills of llamas i think we're going to buy a cow i just don't know if it's brown or spot i think we're gonna do a spotted one definitely need a get a cow this is gonna be so cool having a cow and then we can milk it and then we're gonna buy some chickens we have a black rooster we'll have a couple hen chicks and then we'll have a white hen so now we have some take care of some animals ivy does love animals i don't know what we can name them chicken on chickens day hopefully nobody will die from these chickens i really hope not we're gonna give them something to eat and then we have to also feed the cow we're gonna give him something to eat as well ivy's gonna have so much fun over the next couple days with them and then we can establish our garden and everything oh we have a bunny we'll talk about gardening with the bunny and where are the kids at right now let's see how they're doing they're very sad mckinley we have a neighbor that came by to bring us fruit cake the kids are gonna have so much fun with the animals they are going to love them and what's kendall doing he's just fine he's sitting out in the rain like how about you come over here and talk to the rabbit you can socialize with it ask how it's going Oh, he's sad. Maroon from lack of ocean activities. Feels the ocean calling to him. How utterly frustrating to be stuck on his accursed dry land. Wait a minute. You're a child of the ocean. Oh no, we're not going to make him happy. I'll tell you what. We will eventually get to the ocean and then we can go and visit it. And maybe we'll get married by the ocean because you like it so much. But they're wondering what to do with the kids. 
How about you guys put him over here? You can put down Seth, and she can put down Sage. Kendall's having a really hard time. Looks like Kendall has not been getting along with a certain nature enthusiasts. Nature enthusiasts are passionate about the natural world Sims live in, which can be a bit overwhelming for Sims who prefer the great indoors. In terms of Sim references, would you say that Kendall dislikes nature enthusiasts? Sure. If he doesn't like her, she doesn't like her. But who might that be? Was it you? Are you a nature enthusiast? Let's find out if he gets aggravated with him. Let's do a friendly introduction. I saw someone with a fruitcake. Where'd they go? Oh, you came in our house, came in through the back just to use our bathroom. That's lovely. Can you at least introduce yourself to us or wait until we actually invited you in? He's uncomfortable. We can impishly pester and do about the upcoming wedding. Of course, meetings happen in the bathroom like every single time. Ivy, how about you go ahead and put the baby down? Oh, we have a phone call? Hey, McKinley, I've been thinking about getting to know Deidre Waddle better as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? Go for it. How about you go ahead and practice crawling with the baby? And then Ivy can practice crawling with the baby too. She's still very sad from losing a, her friend. And where is Turtle at? Turtle's all the way in the other house. Turtle's wondering where everybody's at. How about we call you over because you need to know where the main house is. Kendall, maybe you should come over here and get her. But pick her up and then we can take her over there. I wonder how Turtle's going to like the, the animals. I wonder if she's going to try and go for the chickens. And Come on, Kendall, come and get her. Oh, she's going back in the house. I guess she likes that house more and that's fine. As long as she knows where to come and get her food dish. We have to make sure we feed her too. Oh, we have to invite someone in. We weren't very nice to our welcome wagon. Oh, we're going to have more people coming in here. We'll brag about the baby. We'll do a friendly introduction. We'll share a secret. We'll do a Henford heart to heart. Can we find one of those? Oh, we're getting another milestone. Crawl milestone. Absolutely. Ivy, we have to get a little sage here crawling. Let's try it. Get her practice crawling. We have to do it in here. And then McKinley can relax for a while. She can do a friendly introduction. We have more visitors. We can invite you in. We can introduce ourselves. Go and talk to this. Oh, do you know what? We might find someone that can be a friend. I mean, she is an elder, but they can be elders together. When does everybody age up? Oh no, the twins are aging up tomorrow. And then the day after that, McKinley is aging up. She's going to be an elder. Wow. We can talk. You guys can be elders together. We can discuss fears about life after death. We can introduce you to Sage. And then we can introduce you to Seth. You get to know them. Maybe she can come over and watch the kids sometime. Maybe she's a babysitter. Her. Let's ask her what her career is. Ask about your career. Okay, goodbye. See you later. Have a nice day. He's leaving. He's going home. We can do a friendly introduction here as well. McKinley's going to ask her what her career is. Turtle, maybe you should talk to Turtle because Turtle's going to be leaving us soon too. But I think Turtle's definitely having a fun time with the animals and being in the other house. And they're all sleeping already, except for one. We can brighten your day. She's definitely enjoying the kids. Did it say what her profession was? Let's find out what your career is is. She's a mixologist. Okay. Is you ever considered babysitting? We'll pick up Seth from like Shimi and then we can share some baby pictures. But I'm really glad that there's a bunch of people that came over to introduce themselves to us. We have more friends. Ivy will have people to talk to. Oh, you're waving. How sweet. And then let's feed you because you guys are going to bed soon. And then Ivy can go ahead and feed Sage. Are you cold? Is this a family picture or what? I can't believe it. The girl's got everything. All we need now is for her to do a little bit more with her career as a doctor. And then after that, she will be able to have her own veterinarian office. I want to thank everyone for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Video.